Hey guys, this is Maximus MC here, and today I'm doing a little bit different of a video today. I'm not playing Minecraft. Um, however, I am doing something, excuse me, involving Minecraft. <laughs> um, today, I'm doing a how to create your own texture pack tutorial, uh, because I know a lot of my friends watch my channel, and uh, they've been wondering how to make their own texture pack, and I said, oh, I'll, I'll make a video on it. I'll, I'll, I'll make a tutorial and, and show you guys. Um, and for those of you that watch my channel as well and you want to know, this is the video. <laughs> so, basically, you want to get all your texture packs you want to use. Um, you can you can get a texture pack and just use one little thing in it. Honestly, um, not a big deal. Um, oh, yes, and I just like to uh, go in, in advance. I am recording this with Hypercam, um, so it might be a little bit uh, more laggy or stuff, but you can't record with Fraps. You can't record your whole screen, your whole desktop, um, so, or else I, or I couldn't find a way to do it. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's why uh, I am using Hypercam, so it might be a little bit more laggier, more, uh, a little bit more blurry than usual, but anyways... Let's get on with the video. So, you want to pick your texture packs here. I got five. This is uh, the ones that I made my texture pack out of. Um, so, I got uh, Fussy Cookie SG, if you know him. Um, he released his pack, so I got that one. Uh, toxic Pack Enhanced. Uh, that, I think, is Toxic Wastes Pack. Um, if you know him, he's MCSG as well. Originals. Um, if you watch my channel way back, um, I had this as a main texture pack. It, it's pretty good. I use this for my GUI and all that. So, um, Redcraft, obviously, almost everyone knows that one. And Devscape, almost everyone knows that one. Um, so, basically, what you're going to do to start off... Oh, yeah, by the way, just ignore all these programs over here. <laughs> um, yeah, not really uh, what we're focused on. So, you want to make a new folder, and you can call it whatever, really. I'm just going to say uh, texture pack tutorial okay so you want to create a new folder I know um, I do have Windows 8 guys so if you don't have Windows 8 something might look a little bit different um, but yeah whatever anyways so basically uh, if you have WinRAR by the way these this like logo will show up with books um, but I don't really like WinRAR uh, I don't know actually why it's on here uh, I don't really want to install it though but anyways I just go to open with Windows Explorer so then you have all this right here right um, so basically you want to just copy all that and take your empty folder and just paste that in there paste that in there because that um, is basically the whole texture pack and sorry I left this out but you want to do this with the texture pack you're going to use for the blocks of your texture pack, okay? So, all the blocks that you're using, I mean, you could change, like, a couple, like, you can make cobblestone a special one. I mean, you could do that, but almost, like, I would say 99% of the blocks that you're using would be this texture pack. So, you want to paste that texture pack on first. It's just a lot easier that way, because there is so many blocks in Minecraft, it takes a long time. So, this is uh, what you want to do. So I'm gonna pick Redcraft for this tutorial. Um, oh no, I don't want to. I don't want to launch GIMP. <laughs> Forgot about that. Okay. Um, okay, it's not responding lately. I don't know. It hasn't been responding. I I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know what it is. But I don't I use GIMP anyways. Um, so basically here. Um, see now I have Maximus's texture pack here because um, I already have edited this texture pack. Um, actually, you know what? I think I might actually have to get a new one. Oh, no, no, no. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. I, I thought I had to get a new red craft, but I don't. Um, anyways. So, sorry. Uh, I didn't explain, but yeah, pack.mc meta, you can, uh, this is what comes up when you use the texture pack in Minecraft. So, you can make it say whatever you want. I just put it next with texture pack. Sounds good. Um, this legal thing, uh, if you use Redcraft, this comes with it. Um, if you're using the, you're, you have to be the only one using this texture pack, by the way, guys. You cannot release this, or you actually could probably get sued. Um, it's a, it's a legal thing, as you see, legal.txt. <laughs> um, but yeah, so definitely, uh, no playing around with that. I, uh, I mean, you could probably give it to a couple of your friends, but you can't make, like, a public download link. Uh, you just couldn't do that. So, then we go to Minecraft, MC Patcher, now, some people like MC Patcher, um, you see here, here's all the glass and all this, um, but, I mean, I don't really care about it, so, basically, I either go delete, 
or I just keep it there, don't change it. It really doesn't matter, to be honest. Um, really, what you're looking for is textures. Now, each uh, each resource pack is going to look different. Um, like, I think Deathscape has um, a different look than this. See, it has... Oh, no, no, this has the same. Um, hmm. What has a different one? Because I know one of these has a different sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, so, th see, they're going to come up uh, all different. Most of them are different, actually. Um, so then you have the textures here, and you don't even have MC Patcher on this one. So, yeah. Um, but for Redcraft, if you're using that, um, I would suggest you do. I don't, I mean, the blocks look really good on Redcraft. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, guys, so let's go to blocks. See, these are all Redcraft blocks here. Um, yeah, so you can take a look at all of them see what you like, <laughs> see what you don't, I guess, um, but yeah, no, uh, those are all the blocks, I mean, like I said, you could just change, uh, some of them, but we'll get to how you change it in a sec, um, let's go to, uh, color map, you could just leave the same, actually, I would leave it the same, uh, because it doesn't really matter, all you're really gonna need is, uh, blocks, like when you're making your own texture pack, blocks, uh, basically font, if you want to change that, GUI, items, and particle that's all you're gonna need really for this honestly guys the rest of this map like really who cares about a map like <laughs> I, i'm sorry i don't maybe some of you do i don't know but i really don't care and this stuff is just like glint like who even who even knows what that is uh but yeah this is important so don't let me forget this um but yeah anyways okay so um so we have the blocks, right? So then you want to go to font, I guess, if you want. Uh, so there is no font here. So, uh, so you're gonna want to pick the texture pack that you want to get the font from. So I'm gonna use original because who cares? And so here it has glyph sizes dot bin. Um, so I'm just gonna copy that and paste it right in there. So then. I will have the font of originals, and the and by the way, glyph dot uh, what is it called? Oh uh, yeah, glyph dot s or underscore sizes dot bin is actually the default Minecraft text. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. Um, so next, let's go to particle. Actually, um, so particles is basically hmm, I don't know how to describe it. Um, let me I'm gonna open it up with paint because I don't want to open up with with uh, GIMP because it was uh, glitching before. So let me zoom in here on this. Um, I'm not the smartest at this. Okay, here we go. So these are the particles. Basically, the end of your fishing rod, um, you know, the crit, critical uh, particles, stuff like that. So these are all the, the, the uh, particles here of uh, Redcraft. So if you want different particles, I mean, some people have really cool texture packs with particles. Um, what I use for my particles is uh, actually um, Fuzzy Cookies um, because his actually are pretty cool. Um, let's check. Yeah, see, his looks even different as well. It looks, all of them look a little different. Um, now, some of them have footprint.png as well. Um, you don't really need that. Like, yeah, like you see here, they only have particles. It really doesn't matter. Footprint doesn't really matter. Um, so particles right here, uh, is basically, uh, yeah. So what you're going to do, copy. It honestly is as easy as this to be honest, like, basically it's just copying and pasting, and then you have the new particles, so, that's, <laughs> that basically, it tells you how to do it all, really, um, I mean, GUI, you can change, um, the icons and widgets, I'm just gonna warn you now, widgets is the buttons of Minecraft, um, like the, uh, single player multiplayer when you first launch Minecraft, that is going to be these, um, icons is going to be, uh, obviously, um, you know, the hearts, um, XP bar, armor bar, stuff like that. Uh, container is actually really important. I'm not sure why I have nothing there. Um, <laughs> anyways, guys, so you basically know the premise of this. Just copy-pasting um, in stuff you want. So I'm going to take this and container. See, I have a bunch of stuff in here. I'm just going to copy all of that and paste it in there see what happens <laughs> yeah so there you go there and it is blue actually um that's what i like the transparent background actually that's what i also like um and then you have the widgets of uh of this so if you want your hotbar like this which i do um 
I just do that and paste and honestly it's this easy <laughs> to be honest with you um, yeah that's that's uh, really about it but you really want to find some good texture packs because it it really is it's pretty it's pretty good if you get some good texture packs and um, and you get going with them so then here is the food um, I really don't like redcraft food or like bow or stuff like that so I change it. So basically, I love Deathscape food. It, it looks actually like realistic, like in real life. Um, so I use that quite often for these. Um, so go to items, and I just copy that, and just go in here. And by the way, guys, yeah, it'll automatically go to the top. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, see, then I got the new apple there. It looks a lot better than that one. <laughs> I, and that's my opinion. I don't know. People have different opinions. Um. But yeah, I like Redcraft armor pretty good. It's not bad, not bad, you know? So yeah, and you can change anything you want. By the way, guys, if you delete something and for some reason you can't get it back or you, you don't want it or whatever, see, if I just delete bone, uh, it'll automatically turn to default. Um, it'll be the default texture of a bone. Um, so yeah, like it's not like it's out of the game for you. It's not like it's invisible. It's just going to turn into default. Um, so I mean... Yeah, it's not a big deal. Um, hmm, let me just uh, go over. It. Oh yes, so this is the important part um, that I need to come back to. So I'm gonna go to that on this models. Now this is really important, okay? Because <laughs> trust me, I made this mistake the first time. So let's say we want to get the Deathscape armor, okay? Let Let's get that actually. Let's get the armor. Um, items. Let's Let's say we get. Uh, let's take chainmail boots. Yeah, all this. Okay, copy. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly get all the armor um, from Deathscape and paste it in here. And I'm, I want to show you guys uh, what I mean. Uh, so, yep, there's the Deathscape. Uh, diamond is next. Wait, where are the boots? Helmet, chest plate. Where are the leggings? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I'll just highlight these three. Copy, paste, and then this, no, this one, copy, what, no, I don't want to open you, sorry, <laughs> um, and then paste, okay, um, okay, whatever, I'm not going to do all the armor, I'm too lazy, <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, why is this still open, oh, it's probably not responding. Oh my god, guys, Gimp is just freaking out. Okay, it really doesn't like me today. So, I have Deathscape armor, well, some of the Deathscape armor. And also, oh, I, did, I almost forgot this. When you change the armor in your texture pack, you have to change this to the empty armor slot. You have to change that, or else it'll look pretty bad. Like, this diamond chest plate um, is a little bit different shape than this one, obviously. So, it's going to look quite weird actually in your inventory if you do it trust me i speak i speak from uh from experience i i did that and that's what happened um so now what i was getting to so armor now um where to go models yeah um so basically now that you got deathscape armor you're not done okay basically if you go into minecraft right now you put in the deathscape armor to that items thing um basically it does nothing <laughs> because in minecraft you're still gonna see the red craft armor um so kind of a pain in the butt yes but you have to change it or else you're not gonna see even if you make all your armor deathscape you're still gonna see the red craft outline um i'm not sure if it's totally red craft but you're still it's, it's still the outline of it um so basically what you want to do you want to take the texture pack that you got the armor from and you want to replace all of this because <laughs> you know it it's bad it's bad to have the same thing um, so some packs have leather layer as you saw redcraft didn't um, I actually don't know why they wouldn't have leather but anyways so yeah so now people are gonna see my deathscape armor um, which is a lot better <laughs> um, but uh, yeah so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'll end the video here. Uh, I was going to maybe make the texture pack, um, but I mean, 
you know, I don't really need to. I basically showed you guys how to do stuff. Um, if there's anything else you guys are wondering or need help with, comment that down below. I'm thinking of maybe doing some more of these tutorials because I had some, you know, it was pretty easy to do this one. Um, so, yeah, and like I said, if you delete something, perfectly fine. It just goes back right away to default. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So, yeah, like I was saying before, you really don't need blocks. I mean, you could change the environment. You can change uh, the sun. I know uh, Huawei, um, MCSG YouTuber, um, he has, like, some weird sun and moon thing. Um, that actually look, they look pretty good, I'll, I'll admit. But, um, yeah, he has some different ones. So he obviously played with these and uh, made it different. Um, but really, all you need blocks, font, if, if anything, you know. Um, and like I said, and before you saw, that's just my proof exactly, you saw that, um, the, that there was no font in here, it would, it would have just been default, yeah, so, and then you got GUI, items, uh, map, doesn't really matter, models, very important, particle and painting you don't need. So, uh, one more thing is, <laughs> if you wanna, so MC, yeah, MC Patcher, if you know, now, if you know more than me and you know what you're doing here, Honestly, go to go do it. I <laughs> it doesn't really matter. But to be honest, if you don't know what you're doing and you're like me with MC Patcher, do not uh, just don't touch it. <laughs> it's fine. Nothing ever happened to me doing not doing it. So yeah. So basically, I want to open this with uh, MS Paint for you guys to just to show you. Yeah. So this is the one I created for this texture pack here, um, the uh, PNG. So this is the picture of what it looks like uh, when you bring up the texture pack, you know, in Minecraft. And there'll be obviously like uh, I'm just gonna draw it. Like, uh, cause I don't really care about this texture pack. There'll be a little arrow here, uh, uh, you know, obviously, and then you click on that, and then uh, it goes in to this side of the uh, Minecraft window. <laughs> I'm a creature, aren't I? Um, and then your little texture pack will be there. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm a creature. Okay, don't save to that. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, guys, I think that is it. Yeah, you can add your own picture, and like I said at the beginning, you can put in your own description. Uh, that stuff. And, yeah, um, I don't know, my advice to you is, I'm just gonna delete this because I don't really care about it, um, but, yeah, my advice to you guys is basically pick some good texture packs, and you can always improve it, you can always go back to the file, um, take it out, and by the way, I'm just gonna show you, um, how to put it back in, um, okay, so, for me, I can just go into this little search bar here, and go dot minecraft but i know a lot of you guys um you just have y you couldn't do this so basically i think everyone has done this before but you do percent app data percent um and then right that's what you do isn't it yeah yeah, yeah. and then you get dot minecraft um and then you get uh all this so the resource packs and this is my texture pack right here um right there but yeah so my texture pack you see there and, uh, yeah, that's, that's how you do it. So, all you want to do is you just click on resource packs, and then, um, like, let's say you want, uh, red graph, you just drag that in. And, obviously, <laughs> obviously you guys have had resource packs before, you probably know, um, how to do that, but just a quick tip. Um, yeah, and, and then to take it out, you just do the exact same thing, come back, edit it, put it back on. So, yeah, guys, that is basically it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this wasn't too long. I got my point across at least, and probably a little bit more than my point, <laughs> um, kind of rambled on. But anyways guys, yeah, thanks for watching, please leave a like so I can know I can do more tutorials in the future, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, goodbye.